What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on, nope, on this beautiful baby, an Evo. We're going to be doing uh, the Brimble brake calipers. We're going to paint them and then actually paint, uh, put on black Brimble lettering on it before clearing them. And I'm going to show you how, guys how to do it step by step. These are the wheels of the Evo. So from factory, this client had them red with the white Brembo lettering. We're gonna do them yellow with the black lettering. It's definitely gonna make it pop with this uh, Phantom Black paint job that the car has from factory. Looks almost dark gray, but from far it's black. It's pretty cool. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it and uh, stay tuned. Depending on the direction you're at, you know, left or right. And uh, turn it all the way to the left so you can be able to paint this side too. But uh, look how dirty this is. It's marked actually. Actually, no, it's faded. Paint is gone. But uh, clean this up really good. You see it has a clear coat. So you're gonna have to, uh, uh, have to sand this down. It's factory sticker from Brimbo, from factory. And uh, uh, clean it up and prepare it for paint. So let's get to it. All right, so to take it off the sticker, I did 120 grit, uh, 120? Yeah, 120 grit with um, my sander. Just take the sticker off. And then I'm doing uh, 120 sandpaper all around, taking off the old paint as much as I, scuffing it up as much as I can, you know, I take it off the clear coat. For the most part, you see that the clear coat is off. And then um, I'm also passing around with a little scuff pad. And you see it's taking off the, a lot of paint. Um, but so far, so good. It's very smooth, which is what you want. You want it to be smooth. And um, yeah, make sure you do it all over. You get coverage on everything. Especially since these are big brakes, you will see everything. Once uh, you prep it, I used alcohol to clean it up make sure it's really clean and um, I taped it up back here make sure nothing gets uh, over sprayed in the sense of uh, the interior suspension I tape up this part because it shows the brackets and whatnot and you don't want to paint that you could but I chose not to and um, make sure you wrapped up the rotor and the bleeder nozzles so those don't get painted and then you can just put a little cap back on there look you know OEM but uh, yeah, it's ready for paint. I'm gonna start with primer. Um, I got this uh, filler primer and then I'm gonna do about two or three coats of that to make sure that you know, it's set and we'll go from there. Primer is drying up. I started with the rear, same thing. Start out with the sander, take out the Brembo emblem. Uh, it's 120 grit and I did 120 all around to take the clear off. I passed it over 320 grit sandpaper to le leave it le level it out. So uh, after that, I scuffed it up, I cleaned it up really good, and I passed a uh, brake cleaner and right after alcohol, um, just regular alcohol, and then um, it's ready for a primer. Tape it up, make sure you tape up everything. Again, I do the, the, the bleeders and the uh, uh, hardware. And uh, right now this is the second coat. It's looking really good. I'm really impressed with how it's coming out. And um, if you see any imperfections, just pass over, pass over I think 800 grit will be, yeah, 600, 800 grit will do good. But uh, from there you just, uh, you know, we're gonna prime this one and then we're gonna paint that one four coats. Uh, that's the second coat. I'm gonna do one more coat of uh, primer, and I'll show you guys uh, the results of the primer once it's done. So, missing one more coat in the back. I have the first coat of yellow in the front. So the first coat you always just spray it on there is now gonna be tacked on 
a hundred percent you can still see it looks like yeah uh bluish blackish yellowish you just gotta put it on there so you can grab onto uh the the surface and then you do a heavier coat on coat uh three so this one's coat one and boy it's literally looking really good it's looking great so can't wait to uh finish this side and just put the stickers i'm excited so five coats of paint it looks so good and crispy it looks so good dude and uh the rear ones have three coats i'm still missing two more coats but they're coming out great as well so uh i've been letting them dry between 10 and 15 minutes uh between both uh be be between coats and uh i just did all five coats and now i'll wait about 15 20 minutes so i could put on the sticker the brembo sticker on the on the caliper but i want to make sure that it's you know dry dry if not it's gonna smudge and then for the rear kind of messed up you know i couldn't get the say that super super small size of brembo like here uh, there so i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get the larger side size uh brembo logo and we're just gonna smack it in the middle uh per client request you know i asked him if he just wanted to leave it plain you know you could tell the brimbles but he wants the logo so we'll do that for the client and uh so we'll let it dry 15 20 minutes right now before sticker and then we're gonna put i'm gonna put three coats of clear to make sure it sticks and stays and uh i'll show you once it's done yo it came out amazing look at this the brimble sticker went on with no issues i just put one clear coat right now i'm gonna end up putting three or four just so it'd be protected really good but yo it came out amazing i'm really stoked about it now i'm about to do the rear ones I'm really happy. Look at that. It looks almost OEM. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was going to come out this perfect. I really didn't. Oh, man. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Oh, hold on. Let me show you the before. Uh, look at them crusty old brick caliper paint but i'm really happy with like the came out and um i mean it only took me about uh so far three hours just on this side so i'm trying to you know standing is the, the, the thing that takes the most time the prepping but uh but i'm really really happy the sanding uh came out you know the reason you the paint comes out really good is because of the prep so it came out good <laughs> i'm really happy just another three hours the other side and then uh this car will be complete it'll be my first it's actually my first time doing big braids so it's a big deal and uh i'm gonna show you now once uh once this side is done i'll probably do a little time lapse on the other side of everything i do and we'll go from there and they're on the wheels are on looks really good it's already lifted down the other side so it looks a little bit off but they're on it actually looks pretty good uh just the logo so they actually look really good even from far away it pops definitely with that black and owner said that he's gonna get gunmetal wheels so definitely it'll pop so now we're doing uh the other side i'll probably put a uh, put you guys on time lapse here so you guys can see the steps but there you go <laughs>
Alright guys, so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, right now, I'm waiting for them to dry. You put a sticker on, put a couple clear coats on them and they'll be good. And they'll come out looking like factory. So... Alright guys, that's the end of the video for today. Thank you for watching today's video and please subscribe down below to our channel for more projects just like this one. If you follow our Instagram or IG, we have a lot of more projects and jobs we don't really show on YouTube because of the video content. But uh, we have a lot more projects there that we could show you guys and uh, you can follow simple steps to do it on your own. We couldn't finish the video today um, for you guys to see because the night caught us, but we ended up finishing the job and it came out great. If you follow the steps, you'll be able to do it yourself. Once again, guys, thank you for all the support. On to the next one.